at foxy.y do you dye your hair yourself well I do um, except for the bleaching part I go to my stylist to do that but um, I do color my own hair whenever I feel like I want to like say if I go swimming and it's in like the ocean or whatever I'll clarify my hair a little bit I might strip the color but then I'll just put the color back on uh, and then whenever like in October I have a hair appointment so then I'll be just going back in in October getting my hair done again and then move on to the next uh, time where and reschedule like every six months for me to get my hair done at Tootsie2525 what's your favorite type of movie such as horror fantasy adventure or action have you ever played Animal Crossing any of them oh my lanta we're gonna be talking about video games Woo! okay Favorite type of movies to watch? I love horror flicks. Love, 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 love. I could die for them, literally. Yeah, I love them to death. It's it's ironic that I say that, but it's one of my favorite categories, genres of movies, besides like animated movies. Other than that, um, some action. It just depends on my mood, but. I do like a lot of animated and I do like a lot of scary movies totally 100% also Animal Crossing I have played Animal Crossing I played it when it was on uh, Nintendo and it was on GameCube I know that's going way far back but yes GameCube um, I do not have a 3DS otherwise I'd be playing that currently and now and probably obsessed like half of the world is with that if anybody's ever played Animal Crossing, you'll know what I mean. It's so addicting. It's ridiculous. Um, at Katie underscore O'Leary 7, have you ever been to Ireland? If not, will you ever come? I have not been to Ireland. Um, I will be going to Ireland probably in the near five to ten years. Um, I'm... I'm thinking it's gonna be just best if I just not go with the tour group and just go by foot because at least people that I know have been to Ireland they know some of the best places to go and I know some of the places through research that I can go um, I can go see my family coat of arms um, I could also see some royal family uh, over there and whatnot from like way back in the dark ages and coolness and history but um yeah I'm pretty excited I would love to go just to Dublin maybe trek around there a little bit uh, go to a few of the pubs that uh, it's not for drinking purposes it's just because I've heard that they're really cool inside um, I would have a lot of authentic like legitimate nasty food that people would be like that's disgusting like blood pudding haggis if you're vegan probably don't want to listen to me talking about it anyway but it's really good it's it's amazing at megan.jojo.s favorite drugstore makeup and favorite high high brand makeup well i'm kind of in between i kind of have like novelty slash high-end slash not high-end makeup so i mean i i don't really know i do like i think it's Maybelline or CoverGirl? I don't know. Anyway, it's from the Star Wars thing. That's Maybelline. CoverGirl. CoverGirl. That's CoverGirl. Mm, whatever. Point is, I have novelty makeup that's super cheap that works fine. And I've got some high-end like Bobbi Brown and Estee Lauder that's really expensive but still does the trick from the same thing. It's, it's nice, I think. I can't choose between because I, I just kind of go in the middle. I'm right there in the middle. You don't really care. And it's just right there. <laughs> At Cry Bunny, what's the craziest, that's in quotations, uh, body modification that you would ever consider getting if there was no consequences? Uh, slash, like, for example, um, work wouldn't mind you having, etc. Well, craziest body modification. The only thing that I can honestly think of that I've actually had a huge problem with, I mean, it's, it's, it's one of those issues where you just can't, you, there's nothing that I can do because of it. Um, 
it's like it's not has it does not really have to do with the thigh gap but it gets to the point where when you're wearing clothes and even though your clothes aren't tight on your thighs and it rubs together and it bleeds I have a huge huge problem with all of that um, I have tried like the Brazilian thing I have tried a lot of stuff to try and see if I can work out enough and it's just it's one of those things that you just can't and um, I, I've even thought about even actually doing the surgery just to just a tiny bit I think like even just like at least an inch of clearance would just be a little bit better than what I have now it has nothing to do with like they're wanting to be a thigh gap or anything it just when things hurt and they bleed and you know it does that can be really painful it can be really really painful and it doesn't help that I have an hourglass figure anyway so it's just all gonna go down to my butt and my hips anyway so what's the point <laughs> you know what I mean and people people that have that problem you know what I'm saying big butt problems you can't even fit into jeans and you also have issues with thighs uh, we're just built that way and I'm totally okay with it but I would just like it to not be as painful as so um, I've seen people like do some crazy stuff like saran wrap that and I've even thought about it because it's just like well if it doesn't hurt I would at least like to try it so it wouldn't hurt as bad because let me tell you it's not fun I actually have bruises too because of how bad it actually can hurt it's just it's nasty it's nasty um, other than that I wouldn't have any other alterations at all I I'm fine as that is but medical wise so that way I wouldn't have that issue with my legs hurting so bad that's what I would do I mean like for my calves they hurt so then I'll just wear compression socks I mean you can't put compression you know you just can't unless I feel like you're wearing like some type of like really skinny bodysuit for your thighs I mean it's just not possible you just gotta live it all right I love those questions they really get me to think at clever three so it's C L E or C yeah C L E V three R girl which would you rather get give up YouTube or all of your social media uh, like Twitter Facebook Instagram and why um, I'd give up YouTube hundred percent I'd give up YouTube I could even do it now and not feel any regret or remorse or anything like that um, just because it's not about you know like the views it's not about you know being famous it's not about even you know doing anything it's just something that I had time for and something that I was gonna try as a career but I see my career in a total like still the same direction but it just kind of curves away um, and, I, and I'm pretty happy with doing what I'm doing now I'm very satisfied that's probably why I don't do as many videos anymore um, and I've been really excited about just doing my own thing and I don't even barely get to post on Instagram anymore because I've been working I've also been taking time off and um, been able to make enough where I can take the time off so quickly even and that's really cool and I like that and with what's really cool about freelancing is that I can make my own hours I can make my own uh, prices I can schedule my own times I can work my own books and I don't have to like you know pay booth rent at a salon I don't have to work at a salon I don't have to go in at these specific dates and I don't have to give anybody a heads up and you know if something happens like say personal wise or or something to a client then I can always reschedule somebody else in and uh, I can go to them or they can come to me and it, it'll be great um, with the salon you have to actually show up on time you have to make do with what you have and you cannot leave at a certain point in time you can't just say oh I'm done for the day and call it good uh, with freelance what I do you can do that and I like that power that power is sweet 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 power and I love it um, I mean that's not going to say that I am finding a place to work at you know in a salon just to kind of you know maybe pick up slack and and uh, do a little bit more things I'm not used to but I mean, come on. I kind of like being my own boss, to be honest. It's it's so much fun. It is. And then I can like take the money that I want to do. I don't have to, you know, work in a salon to do it. And I can just go off and, and say I want to go to a show. I can just get up and go to a show and reschedule somebody. Um, if I want to go like across the United States, I can go ahead and go across the United States. You know? It's... It, 
it's better for me, I think. I, that's what I found out.